Since its launch in December 2021, the powerful James Webb Space Telescope has already taken spectacular images of colourful galaxies, magnificent nebulae and other breathtaking celestial bodies in the distant universe. Now the high-tech equipment has captured stunning new images of something a little closer to home. Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet. Even scientists were taken aback by Webb's composite photographs of the gas giant. So what did the JWST find out about Jupiter? Could there have been life somewhere there? Do any of Jupiter's moons hold the necessary building blocks for life? Join us today as we bring you the incredible new Jupiter discovery revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope that changes everything. Jupiter is the solar system's largest planet and the fifth planet from the Sun, and the gas giant has a long history of stunning scientists. Jupiter is larger than the rest of the solar system combined, according to NASA. Jupiter's huge size could accommodate almost 1,300 Earths. Jupiter was most likely the first planet to form in the solar system since it was formed from gas left over from the Sun's formation. And if it had been around 80 times more massive during its birth, it would have grown into its own star. Jupiter's atmosphere, which is mainly hydrogen and helium, is equivalent to the Sun's. The Great Red Spot is the biggest and most well-known storm, measuring twice the size of Earth. Galileo's 1610 discovery of Jupiter's four enormous moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, transformed our view of the universe and our role within it. When recently the first James Webb telescope images were released, the whole world gasped in awe and wonder. The minute features in these photographs of merging galaxies millions of light years away and planets outside our own Milky Way captivated people all across the world. Even specialists were perplexed by the unusual and perplexing facts presented by the initial data collected from the James Webb Space Telescope. In less than a year, this remarkable telescope has presented us with a wealth of knowledge about our universe that has fundamentally altered our understanding of it. It seems to reason that a telescope capable of seeing galaxies billions of light years distant and light from the beginning of the cosmos would have no trouble supplying us with exquisitely detailed photos of our solar system. In July, astronomers utilised the powerful infrared eyes of the telescope to home down on Jupiter. The final images depict a world with both familiar and intriguing elements. We hadn't really expected it to be this good said Imke Departa of the University of California, Berkeley, in a statement. They've never seen Jupiter like this before, and it's breathtaking. Thanks to the Webb telescope, previously obscured photos of its massive storms, auroras and faint rings can now be viewed in spectacular clarity. This composite picture of the gas giant was created by blending several telescopic photographs. This result in a gradual shift in colour from orange and yellow near Jupiter's poles to blue and purple around the planet's equator. NASA reports that faraway galaxies and thin rings of Saturn may also photobomb the foreground. The photographs are said to be so stunning that even NASA's top experts are taken aback. Jupiter is enveloped by a magnificent aurora and coated in white streaks and spots. The images are significantly more colourful than those taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, which the James Webb Telescope succeeds. Even more remarkable is the fact that a separate near-cam image provides a clear view of Jupiter's rings. Recent images of Jupiter show Thebe and Metis as well. Jupiter images captured using narrowband filters provide spectacular views of the planet's whole disk. The presence of extra information on extremely faint objects such as Metis, Thebe, the main ring and hazes in images with one minute exposures was a pleasant surprise. The photos also show Jupiter's well-known red spot, which looks white because it is reflecting sunlight according to NASA. The Great Red Spot is a storm that has been raging for a long time and is larger than Earth. And just to the left of Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a white blob, is a black spot that represents the shadow cast by Europa on Jupiter's cloud tops. The JWST team is hopeful that further observations may allow the Space Telescope to detect comparable phenomena on Europa. The Cassini mission, for example, was able to detect material plumes erupting from the deep ocean of the moon Enceladus. Cassini made its closest approach to Jupiter on December 30, 2000, 
at a distance of 9.7 million kilometres, gathering a wealth of scientific data. During the six-month flyby, roughly 26,000 photos of Jupiter, its hazy rings and its moons were captured. It generated a global colour representation of the Earth, with the smallest visible parts measuring roughly 60 kilometres, 37 miles. The atmospheric circulation of Jupiter was one of the significant discoveries discovered during the flyby, which was made public on March 6, 2003. Scientists have long believed that the bright zones in the atmosphere with their pale clouds are regions of upwelling air, since many clouds on Earth develop when the air is rising. There are dark belts and dazzling zones in the atmosphere. Individual storm cells of upwelling dazzling white clouds may be spotted in the dark belt, according to an examination of Cassini's photos, despite being too tiny to be seen from Earth. Another atmospheric phenomenon seen near to Jupiter's North Pole was a whirling black circle of high atmospheric haze the size of the Great Red Spot. Infrared scans revealed characteristics of circulation near the poles, such as bands of winds across the entire planet and adjoining bands moving in opposite directions. The same announcement included information on Jupiter's rings. The discovery of regularly shaped particles in the rings as opposed to spherical particles suggests that they were most likely formed by micrometeorite collisions on Jupiter's moons, most likely Metis and Adrastia. Previously discovered evidence suggesting Jupiter's fast spin and the eruption of sulphur and oxygen from volcanoes on Io, the solar system's most volcanically active planet, generate an electric current system that powers the powerful auroras visible near the gas giant's poles. Jupiter rotates once every 9.5 hours and is more than 11 times the size of Earth. Io, Jupiter's moon, contains around 400 active volcanoes that routinely release lava dozens of kilometres into the air. Io circles Jupiter at an average distance of around 262,000 miles. 422,000 kilometres. These emissions generate electrically charged particles or plasma as they fall into Jupiter's orbit. As Hubble's imaging spectrograph studies, the strength of Jupiter's auroras, Juno's magnetic field research gives a complete view of Jupiter's outer plasma environment and the electric currents running across it. The majority of the material expelled from Io is rejected by Jupiter's rapid spin, and as the material goes outward, Jupiter's rotation rate slows. Experts have revealed that Jupiter makes an effort to maintain this material's rotational speed by employing electric currents to pass through its upper atmosphere and magnetosphere, which is where the planet's magnetic field is greatest. The substance in the magnetosphere and the electric current system then engage in an electromagnetic tug of war as a result. The material cycles through the planet's upper atmosphere and mixes with gas generating vivid aurora light displays as it travels down Jupiter's magnetic field lines back toward the planet's pulse. Finding this link is interesting since it not only illuminates how Jupiter's magnetic field operates, but also that of planets orbiting other stars, for which we have previously applied the same ideas. And now, with increased confidence, it also provides us a better grasp of how those magnetic fields function. Jupiter's auroras, on the other hand, have never been spotted until recently, thanks to the world's newest and greatest space telescope. The James Webb Satellite Telescope captured photographs of Jupiter's northern and southern lights, as well as its polar haze. New research, on the other hand, suggests that Jupiter's supervolcanic moon has enormous meandering dunes produced by lava flows beneath the moon's surface rather than wind. The third biggest moon circling Jupiter, Io, is the innermost of the four important Galilean satellites. It has a rolling ice surface that has long perplexed astronomers. Using fresh evidence, scientists have now developed a new idea for how such dunes may have formed. Sand that has been blown by the wind can accumulate to form ridges or mounds called dunes. However, because the moon has such a low density atmosphere, Io's winds only last a week, which suggests that its dunes must have been formed by some other process. Departa oversaw the worldwide Jupiter observations alongside Thierry Fuché, a professor at the Paris Observatory. It is simply outstanding, Departa said in a news release. We can see details on Jupiter together with its rings, tiny satellites and even galaxies in one view. 
The Innovative Telescope's first batch of full-color photos and data also reveals a cosmic extravaganza of clashing galaxies and a dying star. Judy Schmidt, a seasoned citizen scientist from Modesto, California, reviewed the freshly published Jupiter pictures. She worked with Ricardo Hueso, a co-investigator on these data, who investigates planetary atmospheres at the University of the Basque Country in Spain to create the illustration depicting the small satellites. Schmidt says that Jupiter is more difficult to cope with than more distant celestial mysteries because of its fast rotation. Jupiter is said to have the same basic components as a star, yet it was never huge enough to burst into flames. It too has rings, but they are darker and made of space dust rather than ice, as Saturn's rings are. Jupiter's two minor moons, Amalthea and Adrastea, as well as its faintly visible rings, are depicted in the new images. Amalthea is the fifth largest of Jupiter's 53 named satellites and the first to be identified after the four Galilean moons. Amalthea is Jupiter's third closest moon, with a full orbit lasting less than 12 hours. Amalthea was the final planetary satellite discovered directly or via the use of a telescope rather than through imaging equipment such as a satellite or probe. Amalthea is the most mysterious of Jupiter's moons. Because there haven't been many in-depth observations, we don't know much about Amalthea with certainty. It is a stony body with a mean radius of around 51.88 miles, according to NASA, 83.5 kilometers. It has a potato-like shape, is part of the inner moon group with Metis, Adrastea and Thebe, and travels 112,717 miles around Jupiter in 11 hours and 54 minutes. Amalthea has a temperature of 155 Kelvin, according to infrared photometry. According to observations made by the Galileo orbiter in the 1990s, the moon features hills and valleys as well as impact craters. Scientists think the hue is caused by sulfuric chemicals on the adjacent volcanically active Jovian moon Io. Until JWST's discovery, only two spacecraft, Voyager and Galileo, have ever explored Amalthea. Around the turn of the century, the Galileo spacecraft photographed Amalthea with its solid-state imaging SSI equipment, adding to our understanding of the peculiar moon. A Jupiter system program, which examines the dynamics and chemistry of Jupiter, its rings and its satellite system, may be summarized in a single image. Webb, on the other hand, isn't only talking about Jupiter. The space telescope's infrared light throws light on previously unexplored portions of the cosmos. When combined with the deep field photos, these Jupiter photographs show the complete scope of what Webb can see. From the smallest, most distantly viewable galaxies to planets and our own cosmic backyard, which you can see with your own eyes from your own backyard, there is something for everyone. Even with what we know about Jupiter, there are still many mysteries surrounding the gas giant. Scientists are currently examining the Webb photographs and data in order to learn more. In the meantime, NASA's Juno mission is also analysing the planet. What new information will the JWST and Juno Orbiter provide on this interesting new planet in the next days and months? Tell us in the comments section.